hi everyone in this session we will learn how to integrate between nagios and service now we all know that service now is a very popular uh, ticketing tool and uh, we will start with the integration and before integration first we need to create a caller in service now so i will show you how to create a caller in service now for that uh, let me open my developer instance of service now which i have opened recently now i will go here and search for users so under users you will see multiple options are there so i will select user administration users so as you can see that the user page is opened i will try to create a new user i will click on new and it will give me a lot of options like user id first name last name title and everything so i will add this user name that is event handler nagio score i will click on user id first name would be the same and uh, that's all let's click on submit and um, let's also we can also save the record and click set password but it's not required now let me click on submit so there is a user name as event handler if i want to search it so event handler nagio score so this is the user that has been created the next step would be the configuration as we discussed in our previous lecture that we need to define a command sense section and we need to give a command line that is user one dollar that redirects to lib exec path then the name of the shell script or the python script or the script that we have written then the macros that is the host name and host state and we will call this using one command name that is create incident and in the host section we will mention that event handler is the create incident and event handler enabled is one so first step will be the host definition and the definition for the commands for the event handler next we will move to the script section that is how we can create the incident so let me move to vs code here let me scroll down the first it will check what is the host state if host state is down then it will create the incident and i have specified the host name now if i scroll upwards so i need to provide few details that is the service now username service now password service now instance and the event variables that is the host name and the host state dollar two and dollar one so whenever we are triggering this incident create incident dot shell we know that dollar one is the host name and dollar two is the host state so it will be assigned to this variable then if the host state is down this function will be executed and in the local host name that is the local variable scope the host name is dollar one the one we got from the arguments then it will trigger a rest api from and from the table incident it will log in and create a new incident with the data short description nagios xi the host name suppose the host name is localhost it will show nagios xi localhost host down description caller id the user that we recently created the category is hardware impact is one urgency is one and with the help of this script 
the ticket will be generated in service now so we can add various uh, macros in the script suppose we want to create incident only in the hard state not in soft state then there is specific macro for it for getting a various macro definition you can visit this url from nagios and you will get all types of host macros host group macros service macros service group macros contact macros contact group macros summary macros notification macros date time macros file macros miscellaneous macros host macros so this macros you will able to get and use in your script and you will achieve your desired results so let me go ahead to my console here i will show that how the command has been written so it is in the lib excel folder we i create incident.sh and you can see the whole script that i have pasted here now i will move to the host part here i have mentioned event handler create incident event handler enabled is one so i have only defined the host event handler now let me go ahead to my nagios console let me click on host let me click on aws ec2 rel 9 now i will do so for, before that let me do tail hyphen f to check the nagios log user local nagios var nagios.log so i will click on send uh, custom host notification is for sending the emails or notification i will do a submit passive check request given up state just up and performance data is test then i will click on commit the next i will do submit passive check result down check output is test down test down and click on commit if i go here then you can see that here is an option that host event handler aws ec2 rail line down hard one create incident this one has been called for this it will create an uh, incident so let me go ahead here and uh, the last one let me refresh the list so as you can see that the caller name has been updated with event handler nagio score and this is your incident id so this is a very simple task that we did and the task notes have been updated so this way we can create event handlers thank you for watching if you like the video if you are liking the series on agio score if you want uh, me to make videos on some other topics please let me know in the comment box thank you thank you for watching